All right, here we go, day two. This is what I wanted to get early on in this, handstands. The only way to get good at these is to do them consistently. So while you're home, working, learning, off school, whatever, one of the best things you can do is just set a timer every 15 minutes, try a handstand drill. What we're gonna start with is a little bit of a warm up and mobilization for our wrists. Uh, and then I'll show you some handstand drills that you can do up against a wall or a door that'll get you upside down and more and more comfortable up to that freestanding handstand eventually. Let's go. We're gonna start with a warm up for the wrists. To begin with, just hands on the ground. You're gonna make circles with your shoulders, mobilizing those wrist joints. After you've gotten your wrists and your forearms warmed up and loosened up, you're gonna start by applying a little bit more weight onto your hands by jumping forward and backward from your feet to your hands and back and just kind of applying a little bit more weight onto your arms with each one. Looks like this. Next, we're gonna get upside down. If you have a door or a wall, something you can put your feet up against, that's the best way to do this. What you're gonna do is actually walk your feet up the wall as you walk your hands towards the wall. Doesn't matter how high you actually get, just try to keep your body straight, press your shoulders up towards your ears, and work on just keeping your body nice and tight. As you get more and more comfortable being upside down, you can walk your hands closer and closer to the wall and your feet higher and higher up. Once you're comfortable, upside down, supporting yourself with your arms, we're gonna work on kicking up into that handstand. So placing your hands on the ground in front of that door, wall, whatever you're using as a support, uh, and then just kicking up with one leg, jumping off the other, trying to get your hips up a little bit higher, a little bit higher with each one. Um, at the beginning, it can be a little bit intimidating, it can be a little bit scary. Just try to go up a little bit more with each one, and don't forget to just be pressing down through the ground with your arms, with your shoulders the whole time. Support yourself with your arms the whole time. That's the most important thing. Now the handstand can take a long time to perfect, but if you're consistent, if you're practicing throughout the day, every day, you'll make a lot of progress and it's a really fun skill to have. All right, that's it for today. Good luck with your handstands. Stay moving, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow.